So our new collection is called The Place of Zen um, and we developed it over several years and it's quite eclectic but there is a common th theme that runs through all of uh, the pieces and that is pieces that were created when you're not consciously thinking, you're just letting your hands work. So you're coming to a place where you're very still and calm and you're just seeing what will occur. Um, so we've got quite a few different designs in the collection. Uh, I think possibly my favourite is the Love Note. And Love Note was um, a pepper design. Uh, she had always loved this wallpaper in um, a restaurant we used to go to and it was Korean scroll. And she's like, I'd love to do something like that. And one day randomly I just created a piece and it was um, an unusual technique. And it was just all these little dots and so we scanned it in and she started playing around with it um, and if you look closely you can see that each of the little dots look like little um, lips and so that's why we kind of named it love note so both the vista and love note patterns were bound in the same way but have completely different outcomes so they're both um, a very traditional technique called arashi. They're just produced in different ways that are quite unusual for the arashi technique. So arashi actually is a technique where you bind around the pole and in Japan you would use a bamboo rod. We're just using these cylinders. And what we do is we just want to place something around the pole that is going to resist the dye. Now because both of those patterns um, have quite bold features. I'm going to actually just use bands. Normally for this technique I would use twine and I'm just placing the bands down the length of the cylinder. So pretty easy. So once you've um, placed your bands on what we want to do is we want to compress and it's actually the compression that is creating the pattern. So it's creating this area that the die can't get into. So this would be for love note and then I would do exactly the same thing for Vista except I would place my fabric on a 90 degree angle. So I just wrap around 90 degrees um, and go through and start adding my bands. So for Love Note, we have our bound fabric and normally when we are dyeing a piece of fabric, we would soak it, but with Love Note, it's just kept dry. And then I'm just placing an application of dye in just various spots. And I'm actually using indigo and you can see that the indigo is green because in order for the dye to stay on the fiber with indigo, we need it to have an oxidization process and that will occur as the air hits it. So you can actually see that it's changing. So I just randomly selected spots. And that's, that's it. So for Vista, the dyeing technique is quite different. So we're just doing a traditional immersion dye. So I'm just taking this over to the sink so that I can soak it. I mean, I need the fiber to be nice and wet. And the reason I do this is first, my fabric will shrink. So I'm going back and checking my compression. And the second reason is it's like when you wash your hair with shampoo. If you don't soak the fabric first, the dye often won't move over the fiber. So I've given him a bit of a soak and then I'm just going to place him into the indigo vat. So you can see it's a nice little vat. I'm nice and green. And I would just pop it in there and leave it in there probably for about 10 minutes. And that is what's going to create the pattern. Mm -hmm. 